because I want the public to be assured that we have to see this through to the end. This sports academy must become a fixture of how it is we develop talent. The words of Sport Minister Charles Ramson Jr. reverberated around the National Aquatic Center at Lillian Dahl on Saturday afternoon as he led the commissioning of the Academy for Swimming in the presence of a large gathering of young swimmers, parents, coaches, officials and executives of the Guyana Amateur Swimming Association. The Academy launch coincided with the first use of the multi-million dollar electronic touchpads procured by the ministry that will significantly enhance the country's ability to host top regional and international meets. All of you that are sitting here, all of you who are parents, you know that when your kids are participating in these swimming programs, you want the best for them and you want them to be able to achieve the best. Without the structure, it can't happen. Without the coaching, it can't happen. Without the facilities, it can't happen. Without the tournaments, it can't happen. To ensure that these competitions take place and financial burden is not solely on the association, the minister outlined that annually $1 million will be set aside for this purpose. Ramson Jr. pointed out that the format should ideally be quarterly tournaments that lead into a national championship. For 2022, the minister has charged the association with getting those plans executed by November given the resuscitation of the inter Guyana Games this year. Swimming will be a part of the inter Guyana Games as well. So you have an automatic opportunity to represent your country at a Games that we will be able to host in the region. That's a major step for you to be able to progress and go into bigger meets to show how you are competing against the best. Now that the academy has been ignited, the process of engagement between the ministry, the sports commission and the swimming association will continue as more of a monitoring mechanism to ensure the goals and timelines are met. So it's not a situation where we are just saying we want the sports academy to start and that we're just going to leave it to function on its own. That is not what's going to happen. They, they are going to have regular engagements, monthly at the beginning, and then quarterly as we run into a system. Through the academy program, young aspiring athletes will be edified on the fundamentals of their respective disciplines through a structured plan that is geared to facilitate their progression to the next level. The three pillars of the Sports Academy are a nursery, tournaments and elite training. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avinash Ramzan.